My research explained in Yip and Yonako language. Yay! In this video, I will explain why I'm studying a protein called PEA15. No, not peas, but PEA15. The controller of fat tissue growth. Obesity contributes to many diseases. It reduces the quality of life and shortens life expectancy. Obesity has tripled worldwide since 1975, with today a staggering 40% of adults being heavier than what's considered healthy. This modern phenomenon has developed very fast so fast that scientists haven't had enough time yet to fully investigate how the body handles an unhealthy diet. Hmm. Scientists still do not completely understand how the body processes and stores food components during a long period of an unhealthy diet. Looking in detail into how the body responds to an unhealthy diet will teach us how the human body handles our modern lifestyle. When we eat too much, the food components our body does not need are stored in the fat tissue in the form of fat. However, during a long period of an unhealthy diet, the fat tissue is not able to safely store the excess amounts of fat. This leads to harmful accumulation of fats in other organs with catastrophic consequences. For example, fat accumulation in a blood vessel or around the heart, which could lead to a heart attack. So we ask the question, how does fat tissue grow? If we were to zoom in on the human fat tissue and then into the cells, we would see how an individual cell behaves. Each body cell, in this example a fat cell, receives constant orders about how to behave and whether to grow or to die. The cell responds to orders via messenger proteins that set the response in motion. One important messenger protein that controls the response to these orders inside the cell is called PEA15. As a side note, the abbreviation PEA15 stands for phosphoprotein enriched in astrocytes, roughly meaning a specific kind of small protein that was first discovered in brain cells. PEA15 controls whether the cell decides to grow or die. You can say that PEA15 is sort of the conscience of the cell. That is why it's not surprising that errors in the action of PEA15 messes up the control room of the cell. This can lead to diseases like cardiovascular disease, diabetes and some types of cancer. During the development of these diseases, PEA15 either has too much or too little power. We suspect that PEA15 controls the growing of fat tissue by supervising the behaviour of each fat cell, including the storage of fat in these cells. That's why we are investigating the role of PEA15 in developing fat cells. By learning how fat tissue grows and shrinks, we can predict when it goes out of control and what the consequences are. 